Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Commenticle bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape and today I'm going to be going over the new developer blog about the content poll that is going to be coming out sometime around within I'd say a week so that way you guys have an idea of what it's going to be about before it is released and you have an idea of what you would want to vote for. So let's get to the first question here. This covers the graphical works of the new items that were added into the game. The developers didn't have too much time to work on how they actually look, so they want to do a little revamping and um, increase the graphical content on them. Uh, some people might not like having uh, the graphics reworked because they might say it's like RS3 but there's a lot of people who are just gonna say like any update would make it like RS3 but we are such a long way from RS3 if you look at the graphics of that compared to this like personally I think RS3 looks like fucking fairy tale fairy tale world of Warcraft it even looks girly to me like that's not the kind of graphics I would want but uh, I mean some people do like that kind of graphics but e either way like the graphics that they have for uh, uh, the reworks that they just released I'll put a picture on screen it doesn't really look like that at all and it looks pretty sick to me so I mean I don't have a problem with them reworking the graphics so I would guess I would say yes to all these questions but to be honest I don't really think it's a priority because you don't play 07 for the graphics anyways the next question is about new pets that would be able to be dropped from the bosses and um, one thing about this is when you get the drop of a new pet it is not just that specific drop it is a rare drop but it can also go along with whatever drop you were gonna get anyways just like a clue scroll would so I think that's a good idea because you wouldn't want to be going to like Bando's God Wars dungeon and you get a pet instead of Tacit's uh, but actually uh, instead of that it would be like you get the pet along with like maybe some herbs or whatever or maybe even Tacit's you know you don't know uh, maybe you're that lucky, that would be great. Uh, I would love that because Bandos lately for me has been tried as a nun, so I haven't been able to get anything. Um, the next, so the next question which is about this is about the new pets and they want to know if they should add very rare pets for Cal Fight Queen, KBD, Callisto, all the new bosses, uh, DKs, God Wars, Dun God Wars Dungeon Generals, Thermi, which is, I believe, the Smoke Devil boss, and the Kraken boss, and the Giant Mole. I mean, I do like the, uh, the idea of pets, but you don't need to have a pet for every single boss. I think that's just kind of like a waste of time. So the next question covers spawn rates of resources and monsters in the game and they were wondering if they should increase the respawn rates of regular monsters such as like let's just say green dragons and resources such as like say mithril ore um, to make their respawn rates in just average worlds the same as they are in full worlds and this would not uh, apply to Dagonoth Kings or God Wars Dungeon Generals and Minions um, I do like this idea because I find like if you're going mining and stuff uh, you know the only real place to get good mining XP is world one because it takes so long for the ores to respawn sometimes and usually the only places that have really high world populations are uh, world 330, 301, and 302 so I mean I I think we could find a better, better solution which is to lower the amount of worlds there actually are in the game because usually like the average population of an average world is around 200 and that's not really a lot but uh, I know people some people wouldn't like that idea so I mean I think this respawn rate enhancement or whatever on average worlds would be very good and even on God Wars Dungeon Generals like if you are at Bandos and you're just in an average world that has like 200 people in it it literally takes Grador a minute to respawn which I think they could increase that to like 30 seconds on average worlds uh, but they shouldn't increase it to what it is on say world one which is a full world because literally on that world it takes 10 seconds for him to respawn and sometimes that can fuck you over if you're soloing or something so I mean I like this idea uh, I would like to have a little increase on the God Wars dungeon respawn and stuff like that but I know that's not something that everybody would want so I mean I have I have an interest in this idea I guess if they want to do it for other things just as regular monsters and resources 
So the next question is about the new rings that were added into the game that are kind of like uh, the Berserker, Warrior, and Archer's Ring and stuff like that, which is uh, the Trezonius Ring and the Tyrannical Ring. Um, they were wondering that if you go to Nightmare Zone, would you be able to buy uh, enhancements on these rings if you have enough points? And I think this is a good idea because, to be honest, there's no point in these rings already. Like, they kind of just shouldn't even have been added into the game because they're kind of a waste of a drop. But, I mean, if people do want to use them, because the good thing about the Trezonius ring is it has uh, stab bonuses for attack and defense. And if you're using something like a Hosta, then that could be good, because Corp is going to be coming out in the game soon. Uh, well, actually, not really too soon, but, you know, within the next one or two months. So, I mean, I see why people would want that. So, I mean... I like this option. What else are you going to use these rings for anyways? I mean, they're not really worth it if you're not able to enhance them like you are with the Berserker rings. So I think that's a pretty decent idea. And the remaining questions are just small quality of life updates that are pretty minor. And I'm pretty much going to vote yes for all of these probably because if these don't apply to you, say this Castle Wars question right here, if you don't do Castle Wars, then it's not like it's going to affect you in a negative way if this update is added into the game. So, I mean, I don't really see why anyone would vote no for these because they're kind of like optional updates. You don't have to use these if you don't want to. Um, so the question is, should Castle Wars tables have an option to right click, uh, take five of, you know, whatever, like maybe those bandages or whatever. I think that would be pretty useful if I wanted to do Castle Wars. Next, should Lumber Yard Teleport Scrolls be added to the list of rewards from Clue Scrolls? I think this would be good for somebody who would want to make planks. Next question, should range, strength, and damage multipliers be displayed on the equipment screen? I think this is a great idea. They had that back in the day, and it was pretty useful for people who wanted to do range, so pretty good for me. Um, should the Master Wand be able to autocast Ancients? Yes, why not? Should players be able to permanently disable Cave Horror Cave Warning? I don't do Cave Horrors because I don't do quests normally, but I actually did manage to get Dragon Gloves recently because I have been questing, but, uh... I mean, why wouldn't you want that for people who do k us? So, um, the next question is, should we remove the 40 attack experience gain from killing the Ice Lord during the Cold War quest? And this would be good for people who are level 3 accounts and skilling. I think this would be a good idea. Um, next question, should counters for boss kills and barrels chests... Uh, be added and this is basically like if you are in the bandos room and you kill Grawardor 40 times there's something on your screen that says that you killed him 40 times or if you're doing barrels runs then it shows how many chests you've already opened I think that would pretty be uh, pretty good I like that idea because usually if you're in bandos or stuff like people ask for your kill count so that way they can check how many bosses they've killed so far and see how close they are to a drop maybe so I think I like that option the next question is about farming, which I do not do, so I don't really care about it, but I will vote yes just for those farmers out there. Um, and the same thing with the next question, apparently. Uh, the next question after those farming questions is about the vestment robe tops, which are basically like those Ceridoman and Zamorak robes that you get from doing clue scrolls, and should they have the same prayer bonus as the monk robes? And I think this is a good idea. Should you be able to pay mages in... Uh, the West Ardoin, that's that's a weird word to pronounce, Ardoin, 200k to upgrade your Ivan staff. I don't really know anybody who used the Ivan staff, so I don't really care, but sure, why not? Um, should you be able to press the space bar to go through chat boxes and use number key to select from multi options? I really have absolutely no idea what this is about. I think it pertains to chatting, I guess, but I really don't know, so... I guess I'll just vote yes anyways, sure, why not? And the last questions are about Clan Wars. Now, I, to be honest, haven't really done Clan Wars yet. I haven't got to it because I'm trying to get 85 Slayer and do my questing, but eventually I will get there. And the question is, in Clan Wars, should a left-click attack option um, only appear on your opponent? So normally, like, if somebody's a higher level than you, 
then you have to right click them to press attack. But in Clan Wars, that shouldn't be the option. So I would vote yes for that. I'm pretty sure what that que that's what the question is asking. And the last question for the video and the developer blog is, should an option to prevent players returning to a fight for a set of period of time after dying or leaving one be added? So this is basically like respawn time after dying. And I think that's a good idea for people who want it. And you know, it's optional. So there's no really, there's not really a reason to vote now for it. So that's basically all the questions. Hopefully I inform you guys about the new developer blog and the new poll that's going to be coming out. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more like these in the future on future developer blogs, then let me know in the comment section below and also leave a thumbs up. Put a lot of effort into these videos so uh, your likes are very much appreciated and it keeps me motivated to keep posting more videos. So, you know, please leave some feedback if you can. It only takes a couple seconds and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you are subscribed. Peace.